Yes, Joshua, Joshua, Hannah, and Caleb joining us online. It's good to see you, everyone. So why don't we turn to people next to you uh, and say hi, hi, and bless them. Bless them and say, Jesus Christ is alive in you. One more time, Jesus Christ is alive in you. Amen. Christ is alive in us. So today is the last week of November. So uh, we're going to have some time, you know, to summarize what we received for four weeks also. So pay attention today, okay? And also for the remnants online, if you can, please turn on your uh, monitor. Please turn on your monitor so I can see you, okay? Yes, Josh, thank you. All right. So how can we enjoy Christ? We talked about it last week, right? Anyone? Anyone remember? It was just just very simple answer. How can we enjoy Christ? Any remnants? No, no, no teachers? Huh? Through worship? Yes. Because of how, right? You, you, might, you might say worship. Yes. Yes. It was... <laughs> It was the name of Jesus Christ, right? So we're going to talk about it later because uh, we're going to summarize this. Everyone repeat after me, okay? Knowing Christ accurately is everything. One more time. Knowing Christ accurately is everything. Okay? So who is Christ? Number one, repeat after me. Christ is the creator. What does that mean? That means... Jesus Christ didn't just come 2,000 years ago. He was here before the time of creation. Jesus Christ was not just a person who came 2,000 years ago, but he was the actual, actually the creator. When you look at John chapter 1, can you see it? John chapter 1 verse 1 through 3, it says nothing was created except through him. You know, he created everything. Okay? Christ is the creator. Everyone say, Christ is the creator. Okay, it's very important. That's what it means to know what? Christ accurately. Remember that? Number two is, repeat after me, Christ is the God incarnate. One more time, Christ is the God incarnate. Christ is God who came as a human being, right? So God became a flesh and Jesus Christ, right? He's the human being, Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is God who came to us. Memor if you can memorize this sentence, okay? Guys, remnants, if you have this faith, Satan will fear you. Okay? Will fear you. Because, I don't know if you guys know, but there are many heresies and cults like who talk about wrong gospel. The commonality is that they don't admit that Christ is God. They say, oh, Christ is good prophet and teacher and all that. But they don't believe that Christ is God. So repeat after me, everyone, okay? Jesus Christ is God who came to us. Okay? Who came to us in human being. That's number two. Christ is the God incarnate. Number three, repeat after me, okay? The resurrected Christ is alive. One more time. The resurrected Christ is alive. Okay, he is alive because what? He resurrected. He didn't just die on the cross. So Christ resurrected from the death and he is alive now. Okay, he is sitting at the throne. Everyone say, he is sitting at the throne. He is alive and working. Amen. So with the throne power, throne power, throne authority, he's alive and he's working. He's alive and working in you and in your life. He resurrected. Okay, that's number three. So knowing Christ accurately is everything. And today we're going to uh, talk about the last thing. Okay, number four. Number four. Christ will stand as the judge. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Christ will stand as the judge. One more time. Christ will stand as the judge. 
So what does that mean? He is with us right now, okay? It's important that you understand. He is with us right now, always, until the end. But he will stand as the judge at the end. What does that mean? You know, there's going to be end of this world, right? The Bible says, you know, Jesus Christ will come as the judge, and he's going to judge everyone, you know, whether you are saved, child of God, or you're not saved, you know, you will go to heaven, you will not go to, you, you will go to hell. Not, hell is not a place for sinner. Hell is a place for Satan, Okay. And if you are Satan's follower, you have to go to hell with Satan. Matthew chapter 25, verse 41, it says, The eternal fire that's prepared for the devil and his followers. Okay? God didn't create hell for sinners. God created hell for the devil. But if you're not child of God, you are child of God. But you know, if they are not child of God, they are child of Satan, right? So they have to go to hell with Satan, okay? But you guys don't worry about it because you are a child of God, okay? But be confident that the Lord of this world is with you, okay? The Lord of the world is with you. Christ will stand as the judge, okay? So remember, just remember these four points to know Christ accurately, okay? Let's read this together. Ready? Christ is the creator, Christ is the God incarnate. The resurrected Christ is alive. Christ will stand as the judge. Okay? That's what it means to know Christ accurately. Okay? So let's bless the people next to you. Say, let's know Christ accurately. <laughs> okay? That's everything. Okay? Uh, okay. Some people are kind of awkward, but it's okay. Yeah? So that's what it means to know Christ, but how can we enjoy Christ? And I was really blessed to hear um, Shiwon saying the answer for that, the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? Everyone say, the name of Jesus Christ. Just remember this, okay? Christ is the creator. Christ is God. Christ is 100% God, 100% human being. Okay? 100% God, 100% human being, and he's alive and working, and he will stand as the judge. He's the master and he's the Lord, right? So that's why his name is so powerful, okay? Are we powerful? Are you guys powerful? Yes, you are powerful? No, right? But Christ, his name is so powerful because of who he is. Okay? Repeat after me. His name is powerful because of who he is. Amen? So that's why we say, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Then God answers your prayer. Okay? If you say, blah, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Then God hears your prayer right away. Your prayer will come from here to the throne right away. Because of his name. Okay? That's why Christ is everything. Okay, let's go on to uh, today's uh, scriptural reading. Why don't we read this uh, all together uh, slowly? It's Matthew 28, verse 18 through 20. Let's read it all together. Ready? Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Amen? Ah, I love this. So why don't, why don't you bless the people next to you, okay? Surely Christ is with you always to the very end of the age. Bless them. And Joshua, online, you can bless yourself, okay? All right. So, the guard at the tomb. So, uh, today's scripture reading, you know, just to tell you a brief story, you know, Jesus Christ, he died, right? 
but they heard that uh, he will resurrect. So when he died, you know, they put the body in the tomb, right? But they put the guard at the tomb, right? Because they heard that you know, he's going to come alive again, right? So they tried to block this whole resurrection. But when you read Matthew chapter 27, it says, God sent the angels. Repeat after me, everyone. God sends the angels to fulfill his absolute plan. Okay, so his absolute plan that Christ comes alive again, right? So he sent the angels, and they moved the tomb, uh, what is it, uh, the tombstone, and they were sitting on top of the tomb. Isn't that amazing? Huh? Picture that. Angels were sitting on top of the tomb. They were like, okay, I finished the job, you know what I mean? And the guard, they saw the angels, like they, were, they ran away. So they tried to block the resurrection. Of course they cannot, but remember, remnants, no one could block the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's read this together. Ready? No one could block the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So if you are filled with the Spirit of Christ, hmm, then no one can block you. You can save everyone. So when you pray, repeat after me everyone, okay? God, fill me with the Spirit of Christ. In my heart, in my mind, in my spirit, in my body. Okay? Spirit of Christ. Remember that, okay? Spirit of Christ. If you truly pray, if you truly pray with your heart, even if one second, God's going to answer you. So now, when you read Matthew chapter 28, Jesus Christ, he resurrects. Right? And then there are many things happened, but uh, when Jesus Christ resurrected, he met with two women. Okay? And what he asked to them was very important. He said, Are you at peace? Everyone, everyone repeat after me. Are you at peace? Ask the people next to you, Are you at peace? <laughs> I actually want us to ask that question to ourselves, you know what I mean? Like, you know, tell you, say your name, and like, David, are you at peace? Because you just said that. That's the first, first question that he asked to the women after he resurrected. What does that mean? You will have peace at all times if you believe that Jesus is the Christ. So remnants, repeat after me. Let's believe. Let's believe that Jesus is the Christ. Okay? He crushed the head of Satan already, and he's, he's living inside of you. He died with his body, with his blood, he paid the price of your sin already. Okay? So repeat after me. There is no curse in my life. Okay? You have lost the right. You cannot have any curses in your life because he paid the price of the sin that brings the curses. Okay? And he became the way for you to meet with, not only, not only to meet with God, but the way to receive all blessings from God. Repeat after me. The way to receive all blessings from God is open. Okay? That way is Jesus Christ. So if you believe in that, you will have peace. That's why he said, are you at peace? Okay, remnants, this is the last uh, slide. Okay, last one, everyone. So Jesus gave his last message, and he said, I will be with you always. What does that mean, always? What does it mean that he is with us always? Onjena, right? So like onjena, like can you give me an example? Oh, hangsang. Okay, I know. But can you give me an example? Like when you when you are deceived by Satan, he's with you. Even then, when you get angry, it doesn't matter. He's with you. Okay. When you feel sad, he's with you. 
Even when you go to restroom, he's with you. Hallelujah. Okay. Don't feel too shy. Okay. He is with you always. You know, sometimes your friend or classmate says something bad to you, right? Something they tell a lie about you to others, right? It's okay. Jesus Christ knows all of that. He said, I will be with you always, okay? But more important thing is this. This is more important, okay? Repeat after me, everyone. With all authorities of heaven and earth. One more time. With all authorities of heaven and earth. Okay. So, what is heaven, authority of heaven? Christ can, he can move the angels, okay? When Jesus says, angel, come here, an angel comes. Okay? So, pray in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? And on and earth, what is at earth? What forces? Forces of? Yes. Okay, forces of, <laughs> forces of darkness. Okay? Forces of Satan, forces of darkness, earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, don't fight with Satan. Repeat after me, everyone, okay? Let's not fight with Satan. Let's step on Satan. Amen? Trample on it. Trample. What does that mean? Trample. You have the authority. Well, accurately speaking, Christ who's in you always has the authority. So don't like, Satan, I'm going to fight with you. No, just go away. Hmm? How dare you come to my house? Right? To Satan. To Satan, okay? Not to your friends. Okay. So, Lastly, uh, let's uh, make this confession. Lastly, okay, repeat after me. I will be with you always, with all authorities of heaven and earth. Amen. So this is the weekly covenant. Resurrected Christ is with me, with all the authorities. Okay, so remember this one sentence for this week, everyone, okay? The resurrect. let's put the resurrected. The resurrected Christ... Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Make this confession together. Okay? The resurrected Christ is with me with all the authorities. Amen. So uh, before we end the message today, um, I want to make an announcement. So for all the teachers and parents, uh, please uh, listen to this. Um, you know, some of you might have a question about uh, how you know, our department, TCK department, how uh, things are going. And, um, so I talked to uh, Pastor Sadoara and Pastor, uh, Administrating Pastor Jong Yoon Kim and uh, Pastor Brad also. Um, I talked to them you know, about it and it's confirmed. And so our TCK department is not disappearing. Okay? It's not disappearing. Hallelujah. He's not disappearing, so don't worry. Um, you know, when you say TCK, in, when you say TCK, it includes all languages, right? You know, Chinese, uh, you know, Indian, and like, all languages, like even Hindu. You know, we can we gotta include everyone. You know, Japanese and Taiwanese, and but TCK department started only like two or three years ago. And it's been mainly people who speak English, right? So we will naturally we will naturally join 
the English worship department. Okay? So that's what's happening. And right now, I don't know if you guys know, at our church, there's an English worship department. There, there's about four languages worship department. Okay? Spanish worship department, Chinese, and Japanese, right? You know, there is a gathering of Myanmar, but that's not an official worship yet. That's what he uh, clarified for us. So each, each uh, worship department, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese worship department, each of them will have TCK, or you could call it remnant, ministry. Each of them will have it. Put the arrow this way, right? Okay, so our TCK department will be the English Worship Department TCK Ministry. Okay, so it's that simple. So we're just kind of, I don't know, being transferred, transferred to this. Um, so Pastor Brad and I and Pastor Sadoara, we are uh, communicating with each other and we are taking step by step to, to uh, come to uh, decisions and everything. So, so far what we have is we will have youth worship, which is from junior high to you know, college and maybe some young adults at 12 p.m. Where? At the English, English worship department. EWD. <laughs> it's like a 1.5 floor. Right? 1.5. And we're going to have kids worship at 1.30 here. So kids worship will continue here at 1.30. The uh, multi-ethnic welcoming department is going to use this room. The welcoming department will use this room, but we ask them if we can have uh, worship at 1.30 here, and they said okay. So 1.30, and adult worship will be at 1.30 at the English worship department up there. So one, two, three. But this will be simultaneously. Okay? In terms of messages and all that, it's not perfectly decided yet. But it doesn't matter. We stand before God and stand before the gospel. Amen? So uh, just keep that in mind. So, uh, so we do need teachers you know, for kids' ministry too. So, but you know, I'm not at a position where to even persuade you. But you just stand before God. As uh, the district message was said today, you know, God has an absolute plan and absolute answer prepared prepare for you. right? So stand before God and Ask, um, ask God about it and, and let me know, you know, I, I was going to make an announcement in our teacher's chat room, but um, let me know by, by the end of this week or something, whether you're going to uh, serve as a teacher or not, you know, continue to serve as a teacher or not, okay, or staff, okay? That's all, and okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have given to us and spoken to us today, uh, given us the covenant that will be fulfilled, not only this week, but in the rest of our rest of our lives as the remnants. May you continue to nurture the remnant, to know Christ accurately, and enjoy Christ with this covenant called the name of Jesus Christ, Father. May you receive all the glory, and we anticipate uh, your new answers and uh, blessings as we become humble and go to a lower, lower place and seeking for that highest summit as you... Um, as you take us uh, through your time schedule. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.